Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emma and whoa, all my stuff is falling. Today I am doing a quick little makeup look. This is perfect for the summertime. What I've been loving recently, it's very, I wanna say glowy, dewy. <laughs> I don't really like that word, but I used a lot of cream, mostly cream products um in here and yeah it's a very simple clean looking makeup look and i hope you guys enjoy and let me know if you guys try out any of the products sorry that was my literal toe um but let me know if you guys try out any of the products that i mentioned because i have been loving them recently and i'm sure you guys would love them too especially if you're into cleaner beauty products um but yeah let's get right into the video hi <laughs> whoa that was so weird okay I'm gonna be looking. I have these two scars that just haven't gone away and it's so annoying because they're literally just scars on my face and I don't know how to get them to go away. But I have an appointment with my esthetician soon, but let's get into my makeup. So, um, let me get my hair out of my face. But it's like all weird. <laughs> Guys, I have so many headbands because I was like headband queen. I've been saying queen a lot and I keep looking into the viewfinder, but growing up, I was literally headband queen. You know, one of those girls in middle school who would wear a headband every single day. Yep, that was me. So I have so many freaking headbands. I used to wear like J. Crew was the spot for headbands and they had the best headbands ever. Um, but I used to wear a headband every day. Like I wouldn't leave the house unless I have a headband. I have so many of my school pictures with headbands and I had like sparkly ones. I had ones that were like patches, all different ones. I don't know, I would always get one because my mom worked at Shade Crew. So I would go in and I would go get a new headband literally every time I went in and I would put it behind the counter for her to bring home for me. So that was like my little thing growing up. Um, the foundation I'm using is by Beauty Counter. So basically everything I'm gonna be using is by Beauty Counter and if it's not, I'll say it. But this is in the shade Tan 410. I'll also have everything linked down below that I am using um and it's funny because I talked about beauty counter in a video like a few videos ago because I was just doing my makeup and I was talking about how I switched all of my makeup over to beauty counter because it's so clean um and everyone was commenting being like it's a pyramid scheme like don't use beauty counter and like personally like I it's like not <laughs> It really isn't a pyramid scheme. Like, I feel like Beauty Counter is mostly just like moms that genuinely love the stuff and they just like want everyone to use clean makeup and to use like their links and stuff. You know, I don't know. Um, but my friend Paige is a, I think it's called a consultant. She's one of, she has like a team on beauty counter but it's not like the pushy stuff where they're like buy this do this like she does it literally to promote like healthy healthy clean skincare beauty products like everything literally their stuff is just so clean and i'm not gonna rant about it or like get into it like that if you guys want to if you genuinely want to learn more about beauty counter go over to my friend Paige's page Paige's page ha <laughs> go to Paige's um instagram go to her youtube she will talk i think she talks about it a lot on her instagram um and she'll probably do like a video soon about beauty counter for youtube but like she obviously knows so much more than i know but what i'm saying is that i'm not telling you guys to go use beauty counter so don't think i'm like trying to drag you into this pyramid scheme but i'm just saying like i really genuinely love their products because it's just so clean and i've been wanting to switch over to clean makeup and i finally did and i 
so far love it. it seriously looks so good like this um foundation when Paige sent me a photo of it she sent me like a photo of it right when she put it onto her skin and then what it looked like after it dried for a little and it literally it's like their it's their skin twin foundation and it looks just like your skin like it just really melts into your skin i guess i don't know but all i know is that so far it's an 11 out of 10 from me and i've just been absolutely loving how my makeup's been looking and i've been kind of getting into makeup lately which is so funny of me because i used to not like wearing makeup and i kind of like it it makes me feel like extra girly you know because i feel like sometimes when i don't wear makeup like i love a natural face but i feel like if i don't wear makeup all the time i get kind of like bored you know but yeah so i've been loving it and i just put the light concealer underneath my eyes and my eyelids and kind of like the highlighted points like my forehead nose chin and then i'm putting my this concealer in the shade medium on those two scars and i have a little scar right here too but it's not even noticeable anymore we're just gonna cover it anyway i'm like trying to look into my uh mirror but my mirror is like um, duh i should just move it so i don't have to like keep doing that do you guys like this spot for videos? I um, have been trying to film in different areas of my apartment lately because sometimes I'll film in my like literal like office room or I'll film in my living room and the lighting in my living room is way too harsh sometimes. Plus I'm getting a roommate soon. Catherine, if you're watching this, I love you. And she's gonna be living here soon. So I don't wanna like, literally take over with my filming and stuff so I'm gonna find new little spots now i'm going in with this cream blush i love their cream blush this is their color pinch cream blusher that's what it's called and it's in the shade caramel such a beautiful color for the summertime i love it i love a um darker blush in the summer <laughs> I can do both. I like both in the summer, I like a darker or like a pinker. Really just depends on my mood. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a full, whoa, I don't know if I'm gonna do a full cream look tonight or if I'm gonna do, what do we wanna do? Do we wanna do cream? I'm sorry, this headband looks so bad. I just don't want my um, hair in my face, but it looks so funky on me. I haven't worn a headband in like, well, I actually wear headbands when I do my makeup. But yeah, I'm going to do a full cream. So I'm actually going to use the Match Stick by Fenty Beauty. Freaking love them. Um, in the shade Mocha. And going to contour it up. I don't even think I contour right. Um, because... I don't know, like I just saw a photo of Kim Kardashian contouring once like when she came out with KKW Beauty and ever since then I've just been contouring kind of the way I saw in that photo I don't know if it's right or wrong, you guys can correct me but also I put some underneath my lip because it makes your pout a little bit more poutier Let's catch up, hi this is gonna turn into like a chit chat get ready with me um how are you guys doing i don't know what i'm wearing to dinner tonight we're going out to dinner me maggie and if you guys don't know maggie is my sister i actually get a lot of questions and comments being like emma and maggie are sisters yes maggie mcdonald also has a youtube channel she is my sister blood sister she was there this day i came, like came out of the womb um so yeah that's my sister anyway me and her her and i are going to 
Lolita, which is a Mexican place, best restaurant ever in Boston. We're going with our friend Natalie Benson. You guys know Natalie. She was Gretchen's big in college and she's just the most, like she's so hilarious. And we haven't seen her in so long. So we're gonna do a little outdoor dinner tonight at Lolita on the outdoors the outdoors on the porch is that what it's called yeah a porch and yeah i'm just so excited to see that i haven't seen her in so long i feel like we got to hang out with her all winter and then quarantine happened and we didn't see her oh i got laser done today so i'm actually vlogging this weekend but i just decided to do like a get ready with me video and you guys can watch that vlog i don't even know it'll probably be like titled something to do with laser um so i'll talk more about that in the video and on my instagram but yeah i got my first laser done today which was amazing i'm so excited i have been wanting to get laser done literally for my whole entire life because i've just my dad gave me the darkest thickest hair ever and you guys would never expect like it to be so dark because my hair is so light but naturally my hair is well my hair is kind of light naturally but like like my head hair but my like armpits like so dark it's not fun at all so finally i'm getting laser done maggie was lucky when we were younger she got laser um she got laser done but then I just never got to get it done, but I'm so glad that I can do it now. Oh, and then I just set um, my T-Zone, you guys saw, with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I used to use this stuff way back when I like started using makeup, and then I stopped using it. Started using it again, because they sent me a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm just so glad that they did, because I forgot how good it was. Um, What am I gonna go in with next? Should I do highlighter now? Sure. Yeah. I'll go in with some highlighter. Um, also, Laura Mercier sent me this highlighter too. Thank you guys. It is the Indiscretion Highlighter. It looks like this. It is such a beautiful color. There we go. Not really a beauty guru, but we're working on it, okay? And I'm just gonna highlight the heck out of my face. Because we want to look like a glowing goddess. I need to clean my makeup brushes. Like, within the, the next few days. Can I speak sometimes? No. Another thing that I wanted to talk about. Which I probably, like, don't need to, like... I need to stop just explaining myself all the time. Because I feel like that's all I do. But... Um, it's so funny because my um, mind moves faster than my mouth can talk, if that makes any sense. So if you guys hear me not making any sense in my words, just know my thoughts are literally scattered at all times. Okay, I have a part in my eyebrow that's not like bald, but like empty. Um, like a chunk is out, but I don't know why because I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in Since February I should probably get my eyebrows done. I've been growing them out like getting them thicker But I should probably get them cleaned up at some point once that Grows back, but why? Dude I should fill it in right there some like eyebrow stuff Next, I'm going to go in with lip liner. This is the Maybelline. Oh, what I just used to set my eyebrows was the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. Best holy grail product. Like, honestly, if I could have one makeup product for the rest of my life, I would choose that because it holds your brows so well. Also, this Maybelline um, lip liner, the shade Beige Babe. I overdraw my lips so they look bigger. And I literally just use this and then I kind of just smudge it on my lip. 
like it matches my lip color pretty well or so i think and then i kind of just like smudge it into my actual lip i feel like my bottom lip is already pretty big so i don't necessarily need to overdraw it as much as the top but i do anyway <laughs> for a second i thought that my camera wasn't recording and i was just like please tell me it is this face right now i'm so sorry and now i'm gonna add some winky Lux um lip oil on or whatever this is just to hydrate my lips because they're already dry right now and now mascara um what mascara do i want to use tonight should i go for a beauty counter and do like a more natural look or should i go for like a big eyelash I might do a more natural look so i'm gonna go in with the beauty counter um lengthening mascara and this mascara does not clump at all and it just really lengthens your eyelashes so that's good but i like sometimes my eyelashes to look ginormous even though they already are but this does a really nice job of making it look super natural like you know when you can tell that someone's wearing mascara this just looks like your eyelashes Guys, I still don't know what I'm wearing to dinner tonight. Cute, right? Very light. Cool. I think that's all. Okay. And then I'm going to end off my make end off. Finish off my makeup look with a little bit more highlighter. So I'm going to take this like eyeshadow brush. Large blending brush. And... I'm gonna put some highlighter on underneath my eyebrows. Normally I do like a little concealer underneath my eyebrows, but tonight I don't feel it. And then a little bit of highlighter in the corner of my eyes to brighten up my eyes. And then a little bit more on my cupid's bow. And that's it! Yay! Um how Quick, easy, cute, fun, simple, clean makeup look using basically all beauty counter minus a few things that I use that weren't beauty counter. I'm actually not done yet. I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer to my neck just so my face matches the rest of my body. Um, and then I'm going to contour the sides of my neck. We learned this from Khloe Kardashian. That was weird my brush just did something weird cool all right so that is the end of my makeup look i will probably once i like put my outfit on and everything finish it off with my lip addict voluptuous that's what it's called everyone told me voluptuous isn't a word and i'm like it's literally just called the voluptuous lip plump lip gloss um and it's in the shade 213 jewel so it plumps your lips without that burning like terrible sensation that the Too Faced one sets off but it still gives it a little bit of a plump um but yeah so that's all i'm going to use for the rest of this look and probably just reapply it for the rest of the night and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys